Hello, in this video today, I will show you how to add a connect wallet button to your Unity game to allow your users to connect their wallet to your game. And once connected, we'll check to see if they own any NFTs from your NFT collection and allow them to play the game if they do own the NFTs. Now, before we dive into the video, if you do get any value out of our content, I would really appreciate it if you could give this video a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to be the first to hear all about our awesome content on Web3 and blockchain development. If this is your first time ever setting up a Unity project, we have a step-by-step -step guide to walk you through how to set up your Unity SDK, Unity Hub, and Unity Editor. Or if you prefer YouTube tutorials, we also have a video to get you started with setting up the Unity SDK. So let's start by opening up our Unity Hub and create a new project. And under the Assets folder, we'll see that there is a tab called Scenes. And within Scenes, let's create a new scene for our Start Menu called Start Menu. After we have created a new scene called Start Menu, we'll drag this scene into the hierarchy above to create a new canvas. So within Canvas, let's create an empty game object called Connected State. This will be the container for the UI items to display when the user has connected their wallet. And underneath connected state, let's create a text field called address. This is the placeholder text where we'll put the user's wallet address in. And underneath address, let's create another text field on, uh, called owns NFT. And this will be the placeholder text where we'll check and display whether the user owns one of our access key NFTs or not. Let's go back to the root directory of Canvas and create another empty game object called disconnected state. And this will be the container for the UI items when the user has not connected their wallet yet. So in this game object, let's create a button called connect wallet. And this button will allow the users to connect their wallet to our game. So in the end, your structure should look like something like this on the left here. And let's go ahead and hide connected state by disabling it and hiding it so that when we hit play, the user will only be able to see the title and the connect wallet button like this on the screen. Next, we want to add the connect wallet functionality. And so let's go ahead and create a new folder within the root of assets folder called scripts. And within the scripts folder, let's create a new C sharp script file called start menu manager. And let's open it up in our code editor. And we'll see that there is already a template filled out for the script. And within this start menu manager, let's add the following public variables for our connected state and disconnected state. And once we're done importing the variables, let's drag the Start Menu Manager script onto the canvas and add it as a component. So here we need to define the connected state and disconnected state variables. And we can do so by drag and dropping the two uh, game objects into the corresponding fields like so. And now let's write the functionality to interact with the Unity SDK. So to connect the wallet, let's go back to the C Sharp script file that we created earlier and import the third web SDK into the script at the top of the file like this. For the second import, that is for the async functionality that we'll be creating later for the connect wallet function. And underneath the public variables, we'll initialize the SDK in read-only mode. And in the start function, we will configure the network that we deployed our contracts to. And this will be on the Optimism GoEarly testnet. 
And underneath the start function within it, we'll create a new connect wallet function, which calls the SDK method. And within this method, we can provide a provider, which is, um, which determines the wallet that we want to use. So in this case, it will be either Coinbase, MetaMask, or Wallet Connect, and a chain ID, which determines which blockchain network that we want the users to be connected to. And we'll set the chain ID to five, which switch the wallet to the Coerly testnet. Next, we want to set the state for either being disconnected or connected. So we'll have disconnected state first to be set active as false. And then we'll um, add the connected state, which will be set as true. And this chunk here represents that we're setting the connected state's address game objects text to the wallet address that is being connected. And that's it for the connect wallet functionality for our code. But now we have to head back to Unity to attach the connect wallet function to the on click handler of the connect wallet button. So on Unity, let's go to the connect wallet object and open it up on the right here in the inspector. We'll see the button component. Now we just have to drag and drop the canvas object into the box here. And in this menu, let's find the connect wallet function, which should be under start menu manager script. We're going to be checking if the user has an ERC 1155 from our NFT collection, which will be the token ID of the NFT that we want our users to have. And in the case that they do, we will allow them access to our Unity game. So over here, it will allow us to connect to our smart contract. And we should already have an NFT collection contract deployed. So let's go ahead and use that NFT collection contract address here. And this token ID here is the ERC-1155 that we're using as an access token. And I've just used zero here as an example. And this here checks the balance of the NFT to see whether the user holds this NFT or not. And if they do, then they can access the game. Here we can convert the balance to a float and then we'll create text for the balance depending on if the balance is greater than zero. And finally, we want to set the connected state's balance game objects text to the wallet balance to see if the user owns the NFT or not. And there you have it. In this video, you learned how to initialize the third web Unity SDK in C Sharp, and you learned how to add a connect wallet button to your Unity game. And last but not least, you also learned how to view the user's NFT balance. Again, if you really enjoyed this video, I would really appreciate it if you could give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the Third Web channel. And if you have any questions regarding today's video, feel free to leave a comment down below or speak directly with our team on our Discord server. And the link to join the Discord server is in the description link down below.